Hey guys, welcome back to my next video. Sorry for the delay in getting this video out. Hope you guys have been well. Hope you're having a fantastic week. I'm gonna be going over my October haul, things I've purchased this month. If this is something you're interested to watch, then keep watching. Right, let's get on with my haul. So I've purchased several things this month. Um, as you can notice, I'm wearing my glasses that I've bought, uh, wore in my previous video or I've done a review on. So far, they're going fantastic. They're really light on my face and they sit well. Um, that's essentially what I was looking for, something that was quite light. So if you're interested in that, then check out that video, which I'll put a link to above. But let's get on with the video now. So I brought a couple of things this month. Um, I went to O2 Outlet and I also went to Bista Village. So a mix of both really. So I've picked up things from both places and I thought I'd just do it in one collective video. It's not a lot of things to be frank, but you know, I've just chosen what I like and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's get started with it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is a bracelet that I have brought. Actually, before I go with the bracelet, I'm gonna show you my shirt. So I picked up this Levi shirt. So I'm not sure if you can see it here. Yeah, so it's kind of a, a greyish color and uh, yeah, you're probably not going to get a good view. But yeah, I got this one for, I've got the price right here. So the outlet price, original price was £25. And it was reduced to 17 So I've just taken the label right off. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's not. There you go. So yeah, I've got that in a size uh extra large because i like to wear it a little bit looser then when you wash it it does just get small so as you can see the fit is perfect for me so that's the first thing i've brought levi's shirt i brought this in gray and also black as well and then the next thing i've brought is um i'm, I'm a basically a big fanatic of bracelets so i'll do a video uh, dedicated to all the bracelets i have uh, there's some that's more expensive and then there's some that's obviously a lower end that are much cheaper but this one here i was looking at this brand a while but the prices uh in the london store were anything above 125 pounds starting and that was pretty high and it goes above 200 um so the bracelet is by i'm gonna have to put the name in on the screen it's gonna come up in the center because it's just too how to hard to pronounce but it's called uh tatus tatson I, I don't know how to pronounce this but this is how it looks like so at the o2 outlet the prices because it's more of the samples that are on display in the store behind the glass on the shelves they're not being used because there's hundreds of them so it's impossible to for people to grab hold of them and use every single bracelet so it's those bracelets that are basically brought to this outlet to be put on sale and this one here was reduced from 125 pounds to 35 pounds exactly so i was ecstatic with that because the bracelet here they use fine uh they use pacific beads and natural beads they're all very very different beads from uh different sources so let me just show you what's the best way to show you so this is how it looks like here you can see it if i just if i can if it focuses it's got like uh some silver beads here right there and the rest of these beads are like natural beads so if I just put it like this on my hand I think you get a better view yeah and I'll put the brand up as well oh there you go it's falling down but yeah here you go I think that was a better view isn't it you can see it much better so it's a, a luxury bracelet but as you can see, it's, it is really beautiful. Yeah, I love it. So if I put this back on my wrist here. There you go. Sits well. I'll put a picture up on my Instagram. And if you guys haven't already, 
please do sign up on my Instagram and follow me there. My Instagram ID, it's Mandy Lau Lifestyle, should come up here on screen. Please do follow and support. And if you like the video so far, hit the like button. It would greatly help me out. But moving on now. So the next thing I've got, this is from Bista Village, is um, a Ralph Lauren um, jacket. So it looks like this. Go further back. Yeah, you can see it. That's the front, and that's the back. And you can see the the logo right there. Okay. And this was in size large. And in terms of, I've just kept it on as well. If you can see that. I don't know if it shows actually the the price here. Do do do. No, I was looking for the original price I can show you guys, but it doesn't show it. So if I just quickly put it on for the video. God, my back's hurting today, guys. I was at the gym, so exercising. You can see it. I'm sorry, guys. This is not the best view. Um, where I'm filming, there's not a lot of space. And so I'm kind of quite close to the camera. So I apologise for that front, uh, for the view. Uh, but you can see the wrists are pretty much perfect and you can see how that looks hopefully you do like it, <laughs> it looks good I like it, I like the colour, it's a bit different um, but I feel warm now, I've got to take it off, it's too warm yeah so in terms of the price I don't know what the original price, I can't recall uh, but I think I got this one for £79.99 £79 yeah, £79.99, but I don't have the actual label on here because this one didn't come with the reduced tag, which is a tad unfortunate because, you know, you guys could have seen it. It would be a bit easier for you to gauge exactly the cost of this. But, yeah, I apologise for that up front, guys. But let's move on to the next one. So, right. So the next thing I uh, ordered from House of Fraser... <coughs> I'm a little bit out of breath today. It's, I, I worked out because I've started working out at the gym and I'm doing heavy on the cardio. I just feel like I'm running I'm just out of breath speaking. Um, usually I'm just perfectly fine, but <sighs> I need to take a deep breath, get back into it. So the next thing I ordered from House of Fraser and it was a Versace jumper I liked for a very long time, but uh, it was quite expensive. The original price on this was 200 actually let me just open it up so this is the parcel here i was going to show you my address that wasn't a good idea but let's put this open oh, i like opening parcels guys um it's like my favorite thing so when i get something i get really excited i know that sounds sad i was speaking to my friend about it the other day like anything i buy or order online when the parcel comes i get really really happy and i know that sounds sad but <laughs> that's the way i am so yeah i ordered this in large it was actually a versace uh, jumper the original price uh from house of fraser 245 pounds so if i just focus this yep yeah. so they had a reduction on and it was down to 180 then i saw another discount code and i put that in and i got it for 140 so i can't complain i've been waiting for it for ages and i finally got it at a discount but hopefully the i'm hoping the size though because i'm just creating a mass in the background as you can see but 82 wait okay so it's got tissue tissue here nice actually i didn't notice but the packaging had the had the versace couture uh writing on it that's quite cool so here you go guys yeah so this is how it looks it looks quite nice actually i've seen it for the first time as well i thought i'd show it and see uh what you guys think and that's how it looks out from the front so it's pretty much um let's have a look it's black from the front with the label what does the label say yeah it's pretty much the same thing uh, then it's just basically giving some other information 
and some information in terms of the model if you can see it yeah and the back is blank as well so let's try it on hopefully it fits otherwise actually this looks tight um it is a bit tight actually so i might have to i can't even get my neck in yeah this is how it looks it is a tad tight as you can see i'm gonna have to get the neck size up it is really nice but it's too tight so hopefully if i can get the neck size up i will but there's no uh what do you call it it doesn't open up at all so just gonna remove this and it oh, that was really that's a tight jumper i've got i mean but then it is designed as well so I am not surprised. That's fine. I'll get this exchanged. Hopefully I've got the, I think I've got the paperwork. So that's fine. I'll get this exchanged for the next size up. Actually, that hurt in my shoulders a bit. <laughs> so yeah, that's the next purchase, which I'll get changed in terms of size. Um, in terms of the next thing I've brought, it's a bag which I picked up from O2 Outlet from a brand called uh, Espanol, or I think it's called Espanol of London. Uh, oh, Aspinall of London. I think called Aspinall of London. I think that's the correct pronunciation, but yeah, so let's just go straight into that one. Yeah, so. Yep, so this one here is the bag. So this is in the dust bag. So Osprey London. Actually, is it Osprey London? I thought I brought from Aspinall. Okay, I have no clue. So maybe... I'm not too sure about the name, but it says Osprey. So yeah, excuse the Aspinall part. I think I've got that wrong on my end. So yeah, this is how it looks like. So it's got like a drawstring either side. So let's open up this dust bag. Uh, it's gonna open. Okay, cool, it's opened. Yeah, so this is the bag. It's like a, uh, so when I asked the lady, she said it's a saddle leather. And uh, it's like, a, how do you say it? It's a myogany or a brownish reddish color. So if I take this into the screen. It's a, a crossbody bag. So that's how it looks like from the front. Then you have the side, the back, the side, and then on the label here, Osprey London. So sorry, I got the, the brand name wrong. That's where my head is at, but yeah. And then you've got the model there. It's uh, Cognic, sorry, uh, or Koyanak. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I know it's not pronounced like that. Queen or something and the model is boxer med satchel oily saddle yep so that i mean the strap feels so nice guys it's a it's a beautiful leather so if you have a look here it's got with the buckle there and you could see in terms of its thickness there Ooh, if it wants to focus and so inside it's got it hasn't got a pocket at the back that's more um aesthetics in terms of a line there so it opens up with it's a buckle there and you've got like a a flowery design and in terms of compartments you have a, com a zip compartment at the back with a pocket in the middle another compartment there and the in the middle pocket you've seen here is fitted in so you can't take that out it's actually fitted into the, the actual the back the aesthetics of the bag so yeah that's pretty much it for this bag it's um it's really beautiful it's got weight to it and it feels like you know as it ages it will get a beautiful uh patina to the leather well i hope but i think it will so yeah just shut this again and in terms of the price the original price on this bag was uh, 200 pounds and it was in store for £95 and then I got a further 20% reduction taking it to £75 around that figure. I don't have the receipt but that's uh, the rough figure in terms of what I got it for. So 
yeah that that's pretty much all my purchases um i can't i don't think i bought anything else um as far as i can remember um as you can see one thing does need to be returned but that's one of the things when you're ordering things online if the, there's, there's a chance the size might not fit you so um always keep hold of your receipt uh, with online orders you have the online receipt anyway so you're pretty much sorted and you know take it back and get it returned because there's no point keeping something that expensive um, and you know it doesn't even fit it's a waste of money so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, please do subscribe sorry I'm kneeling down so I can look at the camera a bit and yeah do subscribe and i'll see you in the next video um have a great week and take care